In today's short overview, we're going to cover how to get started with EDR integrated with an end site. This will include how to start your trial, how to map your sites and users, how to enable EDR for a specific client, site, or an individual device, as well as what to expect when it comes to checks and policy configuration. Here we are in the Insight RMM dashboard. To begin our EDRI trial, we want to go to the Integrations option on the left menu bar. When we click this, it will take us to the EDRI trial activation area. We can click Start Trial in the top right, and this will begin the activation process. Now, we've sped this up by four times, but an activation should take around two minutes. In this case, it took less than a minute at around 40 seconds. Once this is completed, we can click Configure at the top right, or go back to the Devices menu. Here we can go to Settings, select the new EDR option at the bottom, and then go to Integration Configuration. Once here we can see all of our clients, and we can expand these to see their sites. We can map all the sites and all clients, or just select individuals. Here we can see which users we have, and we can select here which ones we want to map. And once we've selected that, we go to the next screen where we can review the summary, and click Finish. Now that the mapping's in progress, and we come to this screen where we can see all of the ones that completed and if there was any failed. We can then click either go to send the one or finish at the bottom right. In this case, we'll click go to send the one, and it'll log us straight into the send the one dashboard with no logins required as long as you've mapped yourself as a user. Once here, we can then expand the sites, in which case we can see that this one site that we mapped from that client is now shown within the menu. So we'll jump back to the Insight dashboard and we'll click Finish on this process. This will take us back to the Integrations menu. When this loads, we'll click Devices at the top left, and then we'll need to map the rest of our devices so that EDR knows which ones to install on. So we'll go to Settings, EDR, then Settings. And just like any other feature, we can enable this for all servers or workstations, for a specific client, or for a specific site under a client. In this case, we'll just do it for the site that we mapped, which is Site 1 for both. We'll click that on, and if we selected a client or a site that's not mapped, it will give us an integration configuration option so that we can map that site if needed. Once we've clicked on for both of these, we're going to click save. Now, if we wanted to do this for an individual device, just like any feature, we can select that device, we can edit it, and then go to the EDR option. Because the site that this device is under hasn't been mapped yet, it's going to ask us to configure it before we can map it. So we're going to click this, and it's going to take us back to that configuration. Site 1 is grayed out because we've already mapped it, so we're going to select Site 2, and then click Next. Now we're going to integrate this just like we did before. It's going to configure it, and once this is done, we'll click Finish once more. Now that we've mapped the site that this device is under, we can go back to the device and edit it. Go down to EDR, the option is now changed to Edit EDR Settings, and here we can set the status to on just for this device. The other devices under the site won't be affected. However, enabling EDR this way, or any feature, can become quite cumbersome if you want to make changes quickly. Now that we have EDR enabled on some devices, we can see that there's a new icon in, in the north pane that shows Pending underneath the EDR. When EDR is installed, this will switch to a reboot icon and then an active icon. In the south pane, we've got three new checks added, the agent health status check, the threat status check, and a service check monitoring the Sentinel agent. And if we jump back to the Sentinel and dashboard, we can see the two sites that we've mapped, along with the devices that we enabled underneath them. And if we select one of these devices, we can see at the bottom right, the same reboot prompts that we're seeing within the Insight dashboard. As you have access to all levels within EDR integration, you can create policies at the account level to apply to all sites and groups, at the site level to apply just to the groups underneath it, or at the group level to apply only to the devices underneath that group.